Have you ever wondered about the political instability in Madagascar during the 1970s? It's a tale intertwined with the life of one man, Richard Ratsimandrava. Born on a crisp winter day July 12, 1931, in the picturesque city of Ansirabi, Madagascar, Ratsimandrava's early life was as vibrant as the land he was born into. His childhood was a tapestry of experiences, molding him into a man of resilience and resolve. As he grew older, his destiny led him to the military. Enlisting with a heart full of patriotism and a mind brimming with strategic acumen, Ratsimandrava began his journey in the Malagasy military. His commitment to his nation was evident in his every stride, his every command. He ascended the military ranks with an unyielding will and an unwavering dedication. His journey was not just that of a soldier, but that of a patriot. A dedicated soldier, Ratsimandrava climbed the ranks, proving his worth as a future leader. In 1975 Madagascar was a nation in turmoil, struggling after the resignation of President Gabriel Ramanantsoa. The political landscape was as rugged as the island's famed terrain, unpredictable and fraught with uncertainty. The resignation of the president had sent shockwaves through the nation, leaving a power vacuum that could have been filled by anyone. Enter Richard Ratsimandrava, a man of military discipline and profound patriotism. Trained in the art of leadership and unyielding in his love for his country, Ratsimandrava had ascended the ranks of the Malagasy military to become a respected colonel. He had earned his stripes not just on his uniform, but in the hearts of his compatriots. And it was this respect that led to his appointment as the interim president on February 5, 1975. The nation was on shaky ground, the political climate was heated to say the least, discontent was rife and the people yearned for stability, for unity, for hope. They needed a leader who could navigate the treacherous waters of political unrest, someone who could steer the ship of state with a steady hand. Ratsimandrava was seen as that leader, his military background, his commanding presence, and his unwavering dedication to Madagascar made him the ideal candidate to lead the nation through this turbulent time. The appointment of Ratsimandrava was met with a mix of apprehension and hope. Apprehension because the political turmoil had left the nation wary of changes at the helm. Hope, because Ratsimandrava was more than a military man, he was a patriot, a man deeply committed to his country and its people. His ascension to power was seen as a potential turning point, a chance to restore stability and pave the way for a brighter future. But, as we know, the path to power is seldom smooth, and Ratsimandrava's journey to the presidency was no exception. However, in the midst of this chaos, Ratsimandrava stood as a beacon of hope. His story is a testament to the resilience of a nation and the power of a leader dedicated to serving his people. Richard Ratsimandrava's presidency was brief, lasting a mere six days. In this fleeting moment of power, Ratsimandrava demonstrated an unwavering commitment to his nation. Despite the brevity of his time in office, he was not a leader to rest on his laurels. He was a man of action and his presidency, though transient, was characterized by a flurry of decisive moves. One of his first actions was to initiate discussions for a new constitution. The existing charter was seen by many as a relic of a tumultuous past, not suited to the evolving needs of the Malagasy people. Ratsimandrava believed that a new constitution, one that better reflected the aspirations of his countrymen, was a necessary step towards a more stable and prosperous Madagascar. In addition to this, Ratsimandrava sought to address the pressing political and social issues plaguing the nation. He was keenly aware of the discontent simmering beneath the surface of Malagasy society. The people yearned for change, for better governance, for social justice and for economic prosperity. Ratsimandrava was determined to address these concerns, to usher in the much-needed reforms that the country so desperately needed. But his presidency was not just about policy and reform, it was about leadership, about showing the Malagasy people that they had a leader who was willing to listen to them, to understand their concerns, and to act on them. Ratsimandrava was that leader. He was a man of the people, a man who believed in serving his nation, not ruling it. He was a beacon of hope in a time of uncertainty, a symbol of the change that was possible if only the country could unite behind a common vision. His presidency, though brief, was a testament to his unwavering dedication to his country and his people. His reign, though short, was marked by a pursuit of stability and reform. 
The story of Richard Ratsimandrava serves as a stark reminder of the challenges faced by leaders in turbulent times and the immense potential that lies within each one of us to effect meaningful change no matter how brief our moment at the helm may be. On February 11, 1975, Ratsimandrava's presidency was abruptly cut short. The sun had barely set on his six-day-old presidency, when a plot hatched within the ranks of his own military brought it to a tragic end. As an esteemed military figure himself, Ratsimandrava had always been aware of the potential threat that lurked within the complex power dynamics of the military, yet, it was this very threat that would ultimately claim his life. In a shocking twist of fate, elements within the military, the institution he had dedicated his life to, would orchestrate his downfall. The details of that fateful day are as chilling as they are tragic. As Ratsimandrava was leaving a meeting, his vehicle was ambushed, the attack was swift and brutal, leaving no chance for survival. His assassination was not just an attack on one man, but it was an attack on the hopes of a nation that was yearning for stability and reform. The news of Ratsimandrava's assassination sent shockwaves through the nation. The country was plunged into a state of disbelief and despair. The leader they had placed their hopes in, the leader who had promised to navigate them through the turbulent waters of political and social issues, had fallen. The shock of his untimely death was compounded by the realization that it was elements within the military, an institution that was supposed to protect the nation, that had orchestrated this tragic event. The aftermath of Ratsimandrava's assassination was a period of profound turmoil and instability. The country was left leaderless and vulnerable, and the power vacuum his death created led to a series of military coups and transitions. The fragile political fabric of Madagascar was torn apart, and the country was plunged into a deeper political crisis. His death marked the end of a brief but significant chapter in Madagascar's history. His vision of a stable and reformed Madagascar remained unfulfilled, his plans for a new constitution were left in limbo, and the country he loved was left in a state of chaos and uncertainty. His death plunged Madagascar into a deeper political crisis. His story is a poignant reminder of the volatile political environment of the 1970s and the immense challenges faced by leaders attempting to bring about meaningful change. Richard Ratsimandrava is remembered not for the length of his presidency, but for the patriotism and the desire for reform he embodied. This statement echoes in the hearts of the Malagasy people as they remember their short-lived president. Though his time in office was cut brutally short by an assassin's bullet, the echoes of his influence continued to reverberate throughout Madagascar's history. In the wake of Ratsimandrava's assassination, the political landscape of Madagascar was thrown into chaos. The stability he sought to bring was shattered by the very forces he had once commanded. The military, once a symbol of national unity and strength, became a hotbed for power struggles and coups. The country was thrown into a turbulent era of shifting allegiances and a revolving door of leaders, each attempting to fill the void left by Ratsimandrava's untimely demise. Yet, amidst this chaos, the memory of Ratsimandrava stood as a beacon of what could have been, a country unified under a leader who prioritized its people and its future, his vision of a reformed Madagascar, one that was politically stable and socially progressive, was a dream that was sadly left unrealized. However, the seeds of this vision were sown and they continued to inspire the leaders that followed. Ratsimandrava's legacy is a complex tapestry, woven with threads of patriotism, ambition and tragedy. He is remembered as a man who rose through the ranks, a military officer who dared to dream of a better Madagascar. His policy initiatives, though never fully realized, set the groundwork for future reforms. His emphasis on constitutional discussions and the addressing of socio-political issues were pioneering for their time. In the hearts of the Malagasy people he is seen as a symbol of national pride, a leader who, despite his brief tenure made a lasting impact. His life and presidency, though marred by the harsh realities of political power plays, serve as a testament to his commitment to his country and his people. His story, though tragic, is a reminder of the power of patriotism and the potential for reform. In modern Madagascar, Ratsimandrava's influence is still felt. His name is spoken with reverence, his story told with a mix of sadness and admiration. He's remembered in history books, in monuments, and in the collective memory of a nation that continues to strive for the stability and progress he once envisioned. In the end, Richard Ratsimandrava's life serves as a poignant narrative of the struggles for power and the quest for national reform. His story, though marked by tragedy, is a testament to his enduring influence, and the indelible mark he left on Madagascar's history. 
His legacy, though born of a turbulent time, continues to inspire and shape the future of the nation. Ratsimandrava's life and death serve as a stark reminder of the volatile political environment in Madagascar during the 1970s. His story, while a testament to the trials of leadership, is ultimately a tale of a patriot whose love for his country was as enduring as his legacy.